Hi, this is Karthik Ayan from Everon Education Limited, Chennai. Through this small video clip, I would love to describe about a small concept of uh, microhabitat. In your lower forms, you have studied a lot about habitats, but what is this microhabitats? Okay, before getting into that, let us quickly recall the definition for habitat. Habitat as you know is the dwelling place of an organism. By dwelling, we mean the location where the organism is given birth to and where it grows up, where it stores the food, where it breeds and where it completes a life cycle. So, that location is what you call as habitat. In environmental science, we have studied about the terms called uh, biomes. There are seven larger biomes in the world and each biome is made up of several habitats and all. So, let us uh, take the case of uh, a forest biome. Okay. So, when you say forest as a biome, you know this forest is made up of several uh, trees, the birds, the animals, each making the forest as their habitat. So, here is a the forest is the habitat for all these organisms, the trees, the birds or the animals. But this gives a wrong idea that within the forest, the trees live separately, the birds live separately, the animals live separately, each one occupying different, different localities. But in reality, that is not the case. You know that a tree, a single tree itself is an abode of several organisms. So, now the tree itself has become the habitat of other group of organisms. right? So, the tree itself is actually a living organism. It lives, it dwells in the habitat called forest. Now, the tree becomes the habitat for, for whom? Maybe for the insects, for the birds, for some small mammals, etcetera. So, now this is a habitat within a habitat. So, that is the actual definition for microhabitat. So, let me define a habitat within a habitat. Now, let us come back to the example of the trees. If you take a tree, single tree, Now, look at all uh, the other uh, groups of organisms which make the tree as its abode. Now, you got the honeycombs, where uh, the honeybees take their uh, life, numerous honeybees live there. You take small insects which make up uh, the food from uh, the leaves. You have got the birds which build a nest there. Okay, the birds which build nests, insects, you know that some of them uh, they roll the leaves, tie them up and live inside those small leaves, lay their eggs there, and even the pupa, the larval forms live there. So, another group, and then you have got another uh, bird, uh, maybe the woodpecker, let us suppose that makes a hole, dig a hole into the stem portion of it, live there. You have got uh, an epiphyte, a plant which swirls over the tree and then uh, make life out of it. You have got small worms etcetera or even a mole or a rabbit burrowing in nature that makes a live around uh, the tree. 
and there are parasites numerous numerous parasites now you have seen how a single tree has become the habitat for so many organisms but look at the more important point none of them are disturbing the life of others so a habitat within a habitat is what you call as the microhabitat so now you understand when you say the habitat within that if this is a habitat it is not setting aside separately but you may have like this a habitat a smaller habitat a still smaller habitat and that is the way life is going on in any ecosystem so this is about microhabitat thank you